Hi beauties, uh, today. I am really excited about this. So I had no idea this was coming. I don't know if they've done it before. House Laboratories, Lady Gaga's makeup company, um, which I haven't purchased a ton from, but I've purchased, we'll say, regularly, like consistently enough that I get emails and stuff like that. My mom was the first one who got me, um, she got me a bundle set that came with her first eyeshadow palette. Of course, I got the Stupid Love eyeshadow palette and I was a really big fan of it. Um, and I've ordered a couple other like small things here and there, but they emailed me, I guess like a week ago, maybe it was right around my birthday and uh, around my birthday, I was just like, whatever, if I want it, I'm gonna buy it. So uh, they emailed me and they said they were doing a mystery bundle set and you could get, you could choose between a smaller size and a larger size. The smaller size I believe came with five full size products and the larger size came with seven full size products and both came with a bag. I opted to get the larger size um, and I got uh, a free bag with it as well. So I was pretty excited about it. It was $59 after tax. I think it was like $61 because if you spent $50, you got free shipping. I considered buying both sizes, but I was worried that they might just add a couple extra products to the larger bag and I might end up getting basically the same bag just with a few extras in the large. So I didn't do that. Um, but I do, I finally came, it showed up today. The dog's rolling around on the carpet. It showed up today. Uh, it's just like a nice little black box. Nothing special about it. The other side says my address, which is why I'm not showing you guys. Creepy, creepy. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's see. Uh, so of course the standard packaging does have their beautiful house laboratories uh, logo on it. And then it always comes wrapped in like this wonderful black tissue paper that I save obviously. Cause I mean, black is my aesthetic anyway. And then it's like just adorable. And they also always give you some sort of like adorable card that has a very beautiful photo of Lady Gaga and some of her models on there. And I, I save these. I don't normally save packaging things, um, but just because I love her so much, I always save them. And it has her little message about the company and how, you know, makeup's helped her find herself in a lot of ways, especially when she was younger. I just, I love Lady Gaga. I really do. She's like one of my all time favorite people in the world. So uh, I love, uh, I, I'm excited about this. And the fact, oh, oh, sorry. Wasn't expecting the bag. I was expecting. If you've ordered anything and gotten her bags before, they always do like these kind of like snap top bags that are plastic. And this is not that, it is adorable. It's this nice little beautiful black kind of velvety case. And it says house laboratories all over it in different sizes. And then it's got like, it's, it's really cool. It's, I'm a big fan of the bag. I'm not sure that the camera's doing it justice. I'm worried it's just kind of showing up like a black bag because the texture and difference of it, it's really cute. Definitely not what I was expecting and a really pleasant surprise because I was kind I kind of had that like picture in my mind of like what, you know, which, what the bags normally look like. So Nikki's here today. A lot of times when we film, Nikki's working from home and so he's sitting like in the other room and then when the camera stops, he comes in, but I actually have him to talk to a little bit today, so. Because it's like 10 o'clock at night, it's just to throw that out there. My sleep cycle got destroyed because I took a couple days off around my uh, birthday and now I sleep all day and I'm up all night and I'm off tonight, so I figured let's film, yeah. All right, so no hint as to what we got yet, but we've got the seven packages and I'm gonna guess, I'm thinking we probably are gonna get like maybe two or three of her liquid eyeshadows um, and then the rest is probably gonna be lip products and maybe, or Probably, it's probably gonna be more like two of the liquid eyeshadows, an eyeliner, maybe two eyeliners, and then the rest lip products. So that's my guess is what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, we'll see. And I have no idea shades. That was the whole thing is like, you didn't know what you're getting, but it was definitely like, it was like $150 value and you're paying $59 for it. So I was like, I'll take my chances. And that was kind of the nice thing too, is like I said, because I don't, I haven't ordered a ton from them, I've ordered enough, but I ordered, the stuff I've ordered, I figured probably wasn't gonna be included in these, so I really wasn't worried about getting like duplicate colors. So I figured it was a nice way to kind of grow my collection with her, her brand. <laughs> Yeet. Okay, first thing is a lip liner in the shade, I think it's Arc. Yes, it is her Demi Matte Lip Liner. Really pretty, very neutral mauve color, which is something that I can see myself wear. Oh yeah, really pretty. Can you guys see that, Nikki? How about now? Okay, so really pretty, very neutral color. A little, 
a little bit on the darker side, like my mom might have trouble using this, but this is definitely something that, this is really kind of the lip shade that I gravitate towards, if I'm being honest, like neutral, but still has like some deep color to it. Um, if that makes sense, it seems like it should be opposite, but I think you guys kind of know what I'm saying. Not really like on the red spectrum, but kind of like in like a purpley area, purpley pink area, and then like a little bit deeper so you can still see it. So definitely something that I think I'm gonna use a whole bunch of. I'm trying to see if I can like kind of open similar products up at the same time, but I don't, I think I'm just gonna have to just open. All right, we're open this one next. This one may be an eyeliner because of the side of the box is glittery. This other box, oh no, it was glittery too. I don't know, I'm just kind of grasping at straws, trying to make connections. This one is in the shade Aura, but it doesn't say it's a lip liner. It says, oh, this is an eyeliner, haha. <laughs> I'll figure it out at some point, or I won't. Oh my God, I can't open it. I'm trying not to break the boxes, but I am worried I'm going to, so instead I'm just gonna cut my fingers off. No puncture wounds that I've noticed yet. If I start gushing blood, well, I guess we'll know. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this. You guys know I'm not a huge eyeliner person, obviously, don't really do it a whole lot. I don't mess with it because I don't do well with it. So when I do, it stresses me out and it adds like an extra 30 minutes to my makeup process. This, the shade Aura is a white eyeliner. And if there is one thing I'm actually really, really into, it is white eyeliners. I used to constantly do like my uh, waterline white because I felt like it made my eyes look bigger. Kind of leaned away from that. But I think there's a lot you can do with white eyeliners. I think it can help to um, give you a neutralized area if you're trying to really make a pop, like a color pop. I, I am a big fan of that. And it's a really pretty white, if you can see it next to the, the lip liner there. It's actually got like a really nice pigment to it. Very creamy, just a nice like little gel eyeliner. I think that that's a very, um, a, a very good product in terms of ways that I can use it. Cause I do always worry that I'm gonna get an eyeliner and it's just gonna sit in my eyeliner bag and wait um, until it goes bad. I hate to say it, but that's, that's kind of why I'm always like, eh, when I get one from Ipsy or BoxyCharm. All right, next thing we have here is a matte lip crayon in the shade Influencer. I'm so bad at opening these. It's probably because I don't have any nails, but I don't want to pull the scissors out again. I feel like I'm gonna end up, I'm, I'm gambling with my life every time I pull out the scissors and at one point I'm gonna lose. Okay, all right, that wasn't the point where I lost, but it'll come. We all are waiting for the day. Okay, first of all, crazy interesting design. It's like, I feel like, oh, does this pull off? If, oh, wait, does it? Or it's either gonna pull off or I'm gonna break it. Oh, I bet it's a sharpener. Aha, it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. Or it's not and I just broke it. I don't know. How do I, how do, I do it without? Oh, there we go. All right, figured it out. So that's what it looks like. I'm assuming the top part is in fact a, uh, a sharpener and it's a very, pretty, it, this is also really neutral. I feel like this has actually been, um, a lot of her collection is very bold colors, which I personally really like about it, but these are all really neutral so far. I feel like, you know, they kind of designed it thinking that even if you're not like into crazy bold colors, you probably get good use out of it. So that's that one right there, a lighter shade than this one, obviously than the lip liner, um, but still like a really noticeable, very summer, uh, like peach shade, love it, into it. Okay, so off camera, I decided to open up the remaining four boxes. So I, if I did stab myself, nobody witnessed it. I didn't, so yeah, let's move on. Next thing we have is a the Le Riot lip gloss, which is like her big lip gloss collection in the shade Blaze. This, I'm not gonna lie, this actually may be the shade that I have though from the collection because my mom got me like a three-piece collection and she chose a kind of neutral one because like she wanted something that i would use more often and this looks very similar to that shade i could be wrong it may be a different shade um but i it, it looks similar enough that it gives me a little bit of a pause but there's that right there beautiful like all of the colors are very neutral but different and some of them look like they could mix and then it also looks like you could wear them all standalone which is I, i'm a big fan of that I'm liking this so far. Honestly, if they do it again, I probably will opt to get it a, a second time. Um, hopefully, a lot of times, you know, you might see the same type product start popping up eventually, but I don't know. Oh, this is pretty, I didn't read this. So this is the Glam Attack All Over Liquid sh uh, Shadow Powder. So this is the shade Legend. And I also can't remember what, I think mine's black. The, li the liquid eyeshadow that I have is black, but this is like a really pretty gold. 
I love liquid eyeshadows. I'm a huge fan, but hers, their formula is very interesting in the fact that it like goes on really liquid. Like it's like almost like a water like, and then it dries down into like a powder. Um, or like it feels more like a, it's obviously not a powder, but it dries down into like feeling more like the standard like powder feeling of the, of eyeshadows. So that's what it looks like before it's dried. Over here next to the eyeliner, really pretty. This is another Lay Riot lip gloss in the shade Thorn. Oh, okay, this is cool because this is a, like the first like bright color we've seen and it's kind of like a really like bright red. There it is on the end right there. Poppin', shimmery. And then the last thing we have is another liquid eyeliner. I'm not going to lie, the only thing I'm sad about is that we only saw one of the liquid eyeshadows. I was hoping maybe we'd get two of those um, because I personally, that's like one of my favorite things in her collection. Um, but this is just a nice little liquid eyeliner. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, so it applied really nicely. I'm kind of interested to see like how this would like, actually work if you're applying the whole thing. I've heard great things about it, but I haven't tried it because obviously spending money on eyeliner for me is just really hard because I always get them in Ipsy's and Boxy Charms or as free gifts or in sets and things like that. And I just don't wear it enough to justify me trying like, oh, I've heard this is a really great eyeliner. Let me spend 20 or $25 on it because I just don't use them enough. So um, I end up, even though like I've wanted to try, I wanted to try Lady Gaga's, I've wanted to try the calligraphy eyeliner from uh, Glamlight, and I just haven't ever like bit the bullet and bought them because spending money on eyeliner is just kind of weird for me. But overall, so this is my hand. Everything on my hand is what we got in this collection. Um, we got seven full-sized items and this really adorable bag for $61 after tax. Uh, shipping was free. I'm, I'm, I think it's a great deal. I, I wasn't expecting it. Literally got a text message from them. They're like free bundle, or I mean, um, uh, bundle deals starting today, pick it up right now. And I was like, uh, yes, please. So I'm glad I did it. Uh, I'm excited to see if they continue to do these, what else we're gonna get, if they're gonna stay kind of like this or if they're gonna really start to mix it up. I would love to, oops, I scared the dog. It dropped and then the dog was under my feet. Now she's like, what the hell? She's like, do you know it is way past my bedtime? My bedtime is 6.30. I eat at six, I go to bed at 6.30. So she's pissed right now. Yeah, I'm excited. I really am very happy with the colors that we got, the products that we got. Um, I wanna, if they do it again, I definitely think I'll bite the bullet and, and buy it again just to see if it's like a very drastic difference or if it's similar or what the deal is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you picked it up, let me know what you thought. If you picked up the smaller size, let me know what you thought. Were these products repeated in the smaller sizes? Were they totally different products? Is it something that next time I should consider buying both? Love to hear you guys' input um, and what you guys think. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It absolutely helps us. If you're not part of the Dark Angel family, hit the subscribe button because we would love for you to be part of our little YouTube community. And other than that, I hope you guys are all super safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.